just install Choreograph and let's say you're home or anywhere without um, Pepper and the actual physical robot and you want to figure out how to not only um, create a bit of code but also um, test it out on what we call the virtual robot over here. So here we go. First of all, main thing we need to know is that if uh, Pepper is not showing up, okay, so um, here I'm just going to so you can see the whole body. Okay, that's that's what our robot looks like. So if it if it's a different robot, you will need to know to go to edit, preferences, and then in here in the virtual robot uh, tab, you can use the drop down box and choose Pepper. Okay, so that's pretty simple. Get out of there. Once you set that up, you will connect um, to the virtual robot. Um, so click on that. I was already connected, but just so you know, just in case you're not connected, that's how you do it. Um, okay, so that's that's the basic. So let's um let's actually test her out. So if we hold on, if we go to speech and choose creation, we've got a bunch of choices here, but let's do the very basic stuff. So here's say text, but before we can actually say text, we have to tell um, the program well what text is it that we actually want to want her to say so we go to programming um, data edition and we're looking for the text edit okay um, in here of course must do hello world just in case it's the first time you've done any programming uh, it would be wrong of me not to do that <laughs> okay so we connect that and then we're going to connect so it's basically just a sequence of events I've got hello world say text and then and then we bring it here then what we do is we have this play button which is our start button we play it and you will see hello world above um, pepper we can do that again if it was too fast there we go perfect so um, that's the basics be aware though that there's some things that aren't going to show up um, but they do actually work when you're at the robot so for example in this animation we've got uh, let's say moods and there's positive moods and under pepper we might want to check out the what she does when she's happy okay so i'm going to now put this in the sequence here and i'm going to delete that drag it here whoops and then close that sequence so what will happen is um the program takes that text it will then say it and then whatever the happy moves are that's what happens by the way if you double click on it um, you can actually have a look at the timeline um, and you can actually as I'm clicking on each little timeline you can actually see her move a little bit um, so here if I run from here you can actually so she's just kind of like dancing so so just to go back to root I want to show you what I did so First of all, the reason I did that is because I, if I'm here and I run, um, it goes through text edit and then happy. Sometimes choreograph, I don't know what's going on, it's lagging, it sort of just dies for a minute. It will do all this, but then the happy won't show, but just be aware that it will work. Um, right now it's working anyway, so yeah, I don't know, it's dodgy sometimes. But if we go into um, happy and we double click it, like I said, here's the actual timeline for this motion. Uh, the cool part is, is that we can actually create our own motions using the same um, the timeline or a similar kind of functionality. So um, I want to show you again. We're going to hit root. So we've got, we're back into here. And um, now let's say we wanted to actually get her to do a, her own moves. Like we actually want to. You know move her body ourselves so what we're going to do is um, I could delete this or if it just sits here it's not going to be part of the sequence so not to worry so to make our own uh, range of movements we go to creation and there's a timeline okay so we're going to put that in here if we double click this it takes us to this motion timeline keyframe type of thing okay and um, 
this is a really cool button here eventually you're going to want to look at that and that's our timeline property so currently we've got a frame rate per second of 25 so if you've you know spent a long time setting up her movements and you find that it's too fast um, then you can actually change this and um, make it maybe you know five uh, frames per second um, or if you can make it 50 doesn't matter but you can change it here so that, that's kind of cool so it's just good to know um, that that's what that button is so here we go so um, I'm going to choose anywhere I click in here is you see it's changing so around this five um, number five what we're going to do is if I click on now I don't think she's close enough so if I click on her any of her parts okay we're able to highlight that and that means then I can actually um, change that or manipulate it so here we go so I've got the head and head pitch okay so just she's basically we can get her to do a head nod now obviously me doing this just back and forward okay that's that's um, I'm not actually going to show up unless we actually every sort of um, frame what happens is if we set it differently so just be aware just because I'm doing this it's not recording that as a movement as such okay so here I am I, I kind of like it when she's got a head a bit forward okay um, ooh, close program okay so that's going to happen here then I'm going to click here and I want, let's say I want her arms to move. Now you can actually move her arms. See how it's slightly moving this here by dragging this green circle or I can move the blue circle. And that's great, but it's also good to know that, and sometimes I think it's easier to use um, these little toggles, okay? And you can actually see the degrees as well. Um, so at this point here, We've got her head, I think, is it moving forward? <laughs> I've forgotten already. Let's just have a look. Click on it, oh, okay, no, over here. Okay, so then once we do that, maybe we want to actually just move her wrist. And the wrist is down here. So there she's moving her hand here, and then maybe the elbow as well. Bring the elbow in like, or maybe the roll that looks a bit weird okay now we're doing like a robot dance okay right, so we've got that I'm going to then go here and I don't know I'm just making this up as I go probably not the best example but ah oh, oh there you go okay and then the elbow your whoa <laughs> and then we'll click on something else so obviously I'm not trying too hard here but you know this is this is the fun of it is you have to play with it um, and then let's do something else here okay let's get her body I need to pitch oh that looks cool okay so she's got the top of her body or her torso and then oh maybe to the side now maybe she's doing some stretching here we go okay and then the knee pitch oh, that looks quite interesting and bring that forward back oh actually back to the left there we go okay um and so how's this gonna look like <laughs> so i'm okay, gonna hit play hello world and so wait a minute what have i done unclick that get back over here okay, stop oh that's right go back to root and i haven't actually connected the timeline so that's kind of a a good thing to be doing right now because it shows you basically I've just debugged that pretty quickly okay so we have a sequence of events we've got the hello world and then the timeline is going to occur but I want you to actually see the timeline so we're going to double click back in there and we're going to hit play hold on let's give her a bit more screen space there we go and make it just a bit smaller drag it down oh Good enough okay hit play hello world and interesting okay